So what I'm going to do is uh, for initial installation, so the very first time, shouldn't have to do this again, is I'm going to take the table and I'm going to install it in place and attach it and then use the locking cover. The locking cover is the plastic piece with the two holes, as you can see right there. I'm going to attach that in place. And what this is going to do is allow me to get the height right. So I can install the stabilization and level pieces perfectly fine. Um, it's pretty tight. I could use something to tighten that down and it would be better, but for right now it works. Um, on my machine, this is a pretty tight fit. For, so for the 2750, if you cut it out of 0.21 or 2.0 acrylic, this is going to be pretty level already. It's already fairly stable. Um, just in case, though, for just a little extra comfort in knowing that this thing is not going to come apart, I have some... Uh, I took some double-sided tape, and the double-sided tape, what I bought is, I had it here at the house, is Scotch 3M, no, Scotch Extreme Mounting Tape. Um, I, I've had it for another project or something or other, and so I'm going to use that. And this stuff is super strong. I believe the rated weight is around 30 pounds. There's no reason why this won't hold uh, like we plan, or like I plan. We're going to install... The first piece is this quadrilateral shaped piece and I'm going to peel the backing tape off and I'm going to go under the machine and install it. And looking at the arm, I'm going to place this piece against the top while looking at the top of the machine to make sure that it's level. So you can see I have it placed there and the top here is pretty level with my needle plate. The side mounting piece, I'm just gonna take and put it right around over here. Again, making sure the piece stays, the tabletop stays level. I'm gonna attach it by pushing it in place. And it's on. So both pieces are in place, no problem. And the table's level. All right. So as you can just to show you, when you take it off, Take the tabletop off, comes off. These pieces stay here. They're pretty sturdy. I'm pushing pretty hard on that, it's not moving. This one on the side, it's not moving. These won't interfere with sewing on this front bracket piece. You can see I've got it where it's shaped like the front of the machine. And so you want the smaller end on the top, bigger end on the bottom, and it's shaped to fit. Let's see if I can get in there a little bit better. So it's shaped to fit, and it's at the right level. And then we've got the front here. This is also at the right level. You can put another piece in the back. You can put another piece here. The cutout is going to come with four of these stable, side stabilization pieces. I'm only using one because it seems to be fine for me, um, but I want to make sure that people have enough. And that's it. That's the table. So I'm going to put this back in place just show you how easy it is. And turn that around. Oh, just so you know, the tables, it stays pretty level with those two extra pieces. It stays on there pretty sturdy. Um, and so it'll make even putting this on and off even easier. Put this in place, the locking piece in place. And then um, I talked about uh, having making a brace. And so I did that. I cut out a new piece. Um, this when it comes to you, it's going to come in three pieces. So this is piece number one, and these are the two other pieces. These, this, the bigger brace piece is, um, I made the smaller stabilization pieces. I cut it out of here. Acrylic's expensive right now, but given the cost of plastic. And so you're going to take, so when you have this piece to make the brace stabilized, you just put the pieces together just like that. And now you've got the stabilization bracket for the side. And when you need it, you just put it right underneath the machine and it works out great. The difference in my table height from the table to the height of here is six inches approximately. If yours is a little higher or lower, you can certainly add um, adjustments. You can add a piece of felt underneath here. It'll make it higher. You can see on the acrylic piece here that I have, I have seam allowances engraved. So they're already there. They go all the way through to the back. 
This is not an option on the aluminum 